Curry. I'm Noah, and I'm going to build a hovercraft. Yeah, you heard me, a hovercraft. I will start with a piece of wood, 48 inch square to be exact. I will cut into a 48 inch diameter circle. I need to find the center. Half of 48 is 24. I am now drawing the circle using the scrap of wood as a compass. I nailed the scrap to the wood in the center and 24 inches away is my pen. I have my guideline and to cut out a circle with a jigsaw. Now all I need is my safety goggles, my mask, and a little help from my dad to cut it out. Now we have our circle and now we need to sand it. Now we have our wood that is all sanded and free of splinters. Now we need to cut a hole to put our leaf blower in. It fits. Painting the hovercraft will make it look nice and make it smoother. Now that we have our wooden base, we need a six foot diameter circle of plastic for our skirt. We're using a yardstick as a compass. Plan the location of the ventiles. I will trace a circular object and ring around the center. I will use scissors to cut out the skirt and ventiles. I'm reinforcing the ventiles with duct tape so they don't rip when air is flowing through them. There we go. Now I have my skirt ready. All I need to do is attach it to my base, which I drilled a hole through so I can put a bolt through it. Now we'll attach a plastic disc. I'm using the lid from a coffee can but you can use any plastic disc that is available. To secure it to the bolt, we'll use a washer and nut. I will use four small wood screws to hold it in place. Now I'm going to attach the skirt to the wooden base with the staple gun. We will staple the edge of the skirt to the edge where the disc is. When the air comes through the vent holes, it will go into the cavity and escape under the hovercraft, making a thin layer of air I can ride on. 